I feel like getting an acai bowl. I have obtained it. Ugh, I just hate wearing a mask, but then like, I feel so inconsiderate when I don't wear one and like also germs are gross. Anyways, trying to take my enzyme. Let's just talk about life. It's kind of toasty in here. Let's get naked. But lately I've been so constipated. We're gonna try some acai to clear things out. This is from the blend because Whole Foods doesn't have large bowls and I'm a thick chick. I got the coconut chocolate one with peanut butter blended in. Dude, you gotta try it. It's really good. Anyways, as I was saying though, I've been really constipated and I don't know why and I did a Google and I found out that clarity can make you constipated so now I have to like find a hippie allergy medicine that doesn't cause constipation because this is unbearable. I've been missing work. It's that bad. Oh, by the way, I forgot to make a disclaimer. If there's ever food on my face or something at any time, um, you're just gonna have to deal with it because soy cochina. I have taken stool softeners, but then I found out they don't work because I've been trying to drink less water. Yes, less water. I've been told I drink a lot. I'm trying to drink less water, and then I know caca con laxatives. But anyways, for those of you that were concerned about my car and what happened with my car because it wouldn't start, I had to jump start it, and it was like a panic attack driving home from work, and then driving over to the car repair place because, oh my goodness. God, this feels so good, dude. But I managed to kill my car battery. I think it was when I actually left a light on overnight, but my car started just fine the next day, so I didn't really think anything of it. Nope, your girl, she, 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 she killed the battery. I was gonna go to AutoZone and have them install the battery, but I, from what I comprehend online, they aren't doing that. We're right now, so um, I learned my lesson. Make sure I always turn the lights off, unplug my backup camera. It's another cute and quirky thing for me to have panic attacks over at 2 a.m. The super awkward thing though is when I went in, they had a board with everyone who's being seen today, and I'm like 95% sure that that one horny Aries fuckboy was on that board because they put the last name, and I'm like, I'm pretty sure that's him. And I was like, because he told me he liked to go there, and I was like, oh yeah, I go there too. They're decent because I was just looking for a place that does oil changes and specializes in Mazdas because I didn't want to go all the way to the nearest Mazda dealership because that's like a thousand oaks, and I'm what you call lazy. I'm sorry, this bowl is so good, dude. You gotta try it. Acai bowls with blended and nut butter is like the sexiest combination alive, dude. Mm. Mm. Anyway, let's talk about work. I'm thinking about quitting my job just because, like, I heard that it's really hard to get on disability when you're working, even though I'm not making that much money and that freaking sucks. So I need to, like, manage to save what few pennies I have. And then quit working. I might put in my two week notice after I find out when my appointment for my mental health evaluation is. Well, that's why work is all drama and drama stresses me out. I don't mean to like do the bad stereotype of girls being like over dramatic, but it's true. And then when I ignore it, I always somehow manage to like become affected by it. And it's like, this is why I have no friends because people don't like the fact that I don't get involved in drama. And that one creepy, uh, Pisces Epi that, like, told me that he loved me the first time we met. He added me on Snapchat, but, like, hasn't texted me. And I know it's him because even though he w goes by, like, G-Money or something like that. On Snapchat, it shows how somebody discovered your profile. And it says, found by phone number, which is kind of weird. <laughs> <sighs> and my one ex with the tiny dingling, he unblocked me on Snapchat. I saw him peep out all my stuff and I searched him and it showed up so I'm like, oh he unblocked me. But I don't want to get involved with him. Not only because his dangling is small and he's a Gemini and he can't make up his mind about anything, but I'm going to be moving soon. I mean, I've already said before a million times I'm moving to Las Vegas. Hopefully before the end of summer because I would like to have my mental health evaluation by then. Like, I plan on leaving literally right after my mental health evaluation. That's the plan stand.
Well, I'm gonna hurry up and eat this before it comes in melted mess. I don't like the melted, but I like the peanut butter acai combination. How on earth did I get food over here? That was so hot, dude. I just love acai bowls so much. Anyways, I'm really excited about moving because then I get to live with my cat again. And also, I'm gonna go back to school. I'm not sure when because um, of the whole Rona thing. I don't wanna be taking online classes. I don't like online classes. I actually like going to the physical class because I feel like I actually learn and feel motivated. I don't know why I don't feel motivated when I have to like stare at my computer all day. I, I, I mean, I love my computer, but uh, it's just hard for me to learn when I don't have somebody hovering over me going, what the hell are you doing? And not only that, I would be having to pay out of state tuition costs because I'm not a citizen of Nevada. And I'm not sure how long you have to be living in the state. I think it's a year before you can get in-state tuition. Like that whole in-state tuition thing is so stupid. I think you should be able to live wherever you want and just pay the same price but you know they, they gotta screw us over somehow but i'm thinking about going to community college first because not only is it cheaper but i'm not sure if i'd be able to get into a four-year just because i haven't gone to school in forever and i remember in iowa they had a bunch of like really weirdly specific requirements like you had to take two years of a foreign language and have a certain grade and i did not take two years of a foreign language that's why i never went to a four year in Iowa and like a certain GPA and in all honesty I have a high school diploma but I don't have all the credits for a high school diploma because I went to an alternative high school because I was really rebellious and I would skip class to read books so um yeah I didn't like what they were teaching me in class I don't remember what book it was but basically there was like a dude like jerking off and or being horny or something and I was like you done with this and yeah that's when I became rebellious and started skipping class to read I'm just staring at stuff. A bird went caca on my window. I wish the birds would stop going caca on my car. It's kind of insulting. And the other thing I'm more nervous about moving to Nevada too is the fact that like everyone there is a really reckless driver. Oh my god. I know I cannot afford the insurance rates. The insurance rates are outrageous. They're literally over double what I pay now. And that's with like a way higher deductible. That's how you know people are freaking stupid. I'm not an excellent driver or anything, but I'm not deliberately reckless. I need learn how to park better and that's basically the main thing is learn how to park better but I'm not reckless I'm not stupid I guess a lot of people maybe because everyone freaking drunk in Vegas that's the cool thing like everyone just thinks people don't live in Vegas like are you are you an idiot there's actual living human beings living there who do you think works in the hospitals the casinos the hotels the grocery stores all that stuff people that live there like I, I just I just can't. I just can't. I have a sore in my mouth because I bit my lip, I think, in my sleep, and it hurts a lot. <sighs> but I can't really think of anything else to talk about right now. I'm just really missing that acai bowl. It was so good. love acai bowls. That's the reason why I'm excited to move because I can just make my own and it'll be like a thousand times cheaper because this big B word was like $13 and I can make my own for like four dollars and they aren't that hard to make i would say maybe i can make a tutorial one and it, i mean i don't want to call you dumb if you don't know how to make an acai bowl but like it's kind of obvious you just throw a pack in a banana or strawberry a little bit of a liquid and then you blend it at a low speed it's not rocket science maybe it is for some people but i don't know Anyways, I gotta get going because um, I want to buy some prunes so maybe I can make a caca. Damn, your girl, she, she ain't going caca. It sucks, dude. I just want a caca. Wish me luck.